Hi, I'm David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now we're studying the book of Romans, and this week we're in Romans chapter 14, and this is going to be a great study, so I hope that you'll watch every video this week. Today we're going to be talking about faith and personal conviction. Did you realize that Jesus allows us to have differences of opinion on many things? Now, there are many things that are completely undebatable, undisputed. Uh, for instance, Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. Jesus is the I am. Hallelujah. And Jesus came as God and took upon himself the flesh of man, died on the cross so that we could be saved, so that we could live with him forever. That's indisputable. That's exactly what the word of God teaches us. But there are some people who say, oh yes, I believe in Jesus, but he was just a good man. That's not what the word says. And so that is disputable. Um, there's other people that say, oh, well, Jesus, he, he's great, and he's right next to God, but he was created by God. He's an angel. No, that's not what the Word says. The Word says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So Jesus is God. He is God, fully God, but he's fully man. So anybody that says anything differently than that, well, you can debate them on that. You can dispute that. Those are disputable matters. Uh, but there are other things that you may have a personal conviction towards that you're really to keep to yourselves. Those are not matters to argue about. For instance, Paul gets into it. He talks about what people eat. Now, see, in the, uh, in the Bible, that was a really big matter because in the Old Testament, the Old Testament, the Lord was very clear on things that we could eat and things that could not be eaten. It was the dietary laws of the Jewish people. But in the New Testament, Jesus lifted those restrictions in the New Covenant. In fact, he tells us in Acts, this is so interesting, in Acts chapter 10 verse 15, do not call anything impure that God has made clean. So there we have it. God lifted all the dietary restrictions and we are free to eat what we want. Now, that doesn't mean that everything that you personally choose to eat is good for you. God just doesn't have anything in his word as far as a restriction on what you can eat and on what you cannot eat. Take, for instance, the days that we worship. In the Old Testament, it was very clear the days that God set aside where the congregation of people were to gather together and worship the Lord. They had uh, uh, once a week, and then they had seasonal days, and then they had uh, ceremonies that took place throughout the year that were set in stone. But those also had been lifted. Those things are of personal choice. Now, for instance, I have some people that I've talked to that, that say that they love Jesus, but the only thing they wanted to talk about was, what day do you worship on? Do you worship on the Sabbath? And they were talking about on Saturday. And I say, no, I personally worship on Sunday, but I love Jesus every day of the week. But they didn't want to talk about Jesus. They just wanted to talk to me about what day I worshiped on. And if I didn't worship on Saturday, then I really didn't love the Lord. Well, you know, that is a matter of my own personal conviction. And the Lord says, don't even debate somebody about that. That is a matter of your faith, your relationship with Jesus that you have come to from your own study in the word, from walking with Jesus, and that which you feel in your heart is right for you. That is your own choice by personal conviction. And God gives you that freedom. And we're going to study throughout that this personal conviction that you arrive to by your faith in Jesus, your walk with the Lord, is something that is personal between you and him, and it's not really to be debated. But there are things that are disputable, and we're going to get into that tomorrow. So I'll see you then.